Hi, my name is Vanessa Aguilar. I'm a bass clarinet. I'm a senior this year in Washington High School. You can check the shirt. Yeah, these are our shirts that we got a couple years ago. And this is going to be part one of a five part series of care and maintenance of a bass clarinet. Okay. So, first, I want to start off with easiest topic easy, very, very easy, very, very basic swabbing. Okay, please swab your instrument after you use it. Okay, swabbing is just basically grabbing a swab. This is a swab, it's made out of silk and it has a little weighted thing at the end they call it a droplet to swab out your instrument because once you use it and play it for a while it's going to get a little warm in there some condensation will start to build up maybe a little bit of spit and you don't want that in there bacteria is going to grow all in there and it's very very gross okay so we really want to clean that for bass carnets i recommend that you have two types of swabs the first one is going to be this big one that you see right here it's pretty big and has a really long string okay that part is going to be used for the really long body of the instrument, okay? Second type, ooh, it's kind of chilly out here. Second type is a cotton swab, or you could have another silk swab, but I like cotton ones better. That's small, see, very, very small compared to this one, and has a shorter string. Pretty, still pretty long, but I tend to tie knots in it. I just untied them recently, though. And this one is going to be used for the neck, and the mouthpiece it's so much smaller so you're easier to like get all the little nooks and crannies of everything all right so first i'm going to show you how to do it for the bell okay this is the neck and then this is the mouthpiece you take off your ligature okay you don't want to mess that up because if you accidentally pull it it's going to break and it's not going to be good let that sit to the side take off the bell, I'm sorry, not the bell. Let's take off this little S part thing called the neck and the mouthpiece, okay? Set that off to the side. Take the little string with the little weighted thing at the end, drop it through here. Push it through, see so now it's went all the way through. Let it go in, and then kind of run it in there a couple times, okay? Just get out all the condensation and the gross, icky wetness that's inside of there. Sometimes I like to just grab it myself and then just kind of put my finger in there, but gently, okay, gently. Gently put my finger in there and make sure I get everything, make sure everything's clean, everything's dried off, okay? Once that part is done, you can put this one away, once it's completely done. You grab the ligature again, you put it on top, and then you get the little cover, mouthpiece cover, put it on and then put it in your case. So then that part's done, that part's put away. We're all done with that one. Next, you take the S-shaped one, the neck, and then you can drop it through with this one. Usually I like to just use this one first, especially if I haven't played it too much and it's not too wet. I'll just run it through a couple times with this one. And then I will go and grab the bigger one. The bigger one will get everything. But it's sometimes a little harder to pull through. And you kind of have to grab it and your hand might get a little bit like wet. So just be aware. See like, I'm going to pull it in, pull it up. Softly pull it in, pull it up. I stick my finger in there and then just put it through. Make sure, as far as I can go with my little fingers, make sure everything's out. And then pull it through one more time. Alright, there we go. Now this part is dry, it's done, it's good. Put this part away. Next part that I like to do is just take off the pig. Pig goes away. Goodbye. We don't need you anymore. Then we take off the bell. And then this part, you want to be careful. Don't drop this, okay? Very expensive. I kind of cross my legs. Just sit it right there. You shouldn't have really any to almost little condensation in this one but you still need to clean it okay please clean it just drop the little droplet thing in there again let it fall through there we go and then i use my finger to just like kind of make sure it's all in all the way because you don't want it to get stuck on this little part right here okay yes yeah, so now it's in and then i can pull it
pull it through. Pull it through. Okay, you can do that a couple times, but my instrument is dry right now. I have not played it recently, so it's okay. Yeah, do that a couple more times. Now, for the main attraction, we're gonna take this, and then we're going to run it through the body of the instrument. Let it drop down until you see it at the bottom. Oh, I'm so short. And then pull it through right here at the bottom. You see, there it goes. Pull through. This one will be a little bit annoying and tedious because you have to do it many times and you can't just pull it through. Go ahead. Let it drop. Oh no, it got stuck in there. Can you use both hands? Hold it between your legs, okay? I'm not just balancing it. I don't have magic powers. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then sometimes you can see like a little leaks here if you like have a lot of condensation. So just kind of like lightly just swab those up a little bit. Clean it up. Make sure it looks nice. Rub the little tops of where your fingers go so it's not all greasy. Gross. All right. And now your body is done and you have swabbed your entire instrument. Since we're at home, I like to leave these somewhere to dry out because I don't want them to start smelling gross, okay? And you also have to wash these. Just some warm water, no soap. Just rinse it out, let it dry every now and then, you know, maybe like every week to two weeks, just so this thing stays clean. I think the last time I cleaned mine was like a week ago or so. Maybe it's been about two weeks now, so yeah. But I'll, I need to clean it again, but if you can, let it air dry. If you can't, then just go ahead and put this in your case along with the other one, the smaller one. And there you go, you swapped your instrument.